Hello, Aggie Pixie here, and today I'll be taking you step by step how I painted this watercolor illustration, and then I'll be showing you how I painted this Venetian mask. I'll be showing you my secret method of how I add glitter and gold ink. My goal of this channel is to provide you with eye candy worthy art tutorials and demos, unlock your creativity, and explore new styles in fine art. If you like the sound of that, please consider subscribing. So grab your coffee or tea and let's take a trip to Venice. I decided to do a light skin tone for this pixie and here I'm using a schmink watercolor. It's called Naples Yellow Reddish. And I decided to use this burnt umber from Windsor Newton for the shading. I mix the burnt umber with the Naples Yellow Reddish and I add this shading around the hairline and under the neck. I use the Potter's Pink from Windsor and Newton and I love this color for adding uh, cheek color and lip color. It's a very vintage dusty pink and I just add it around her face and her lips. Just a note, I did make a little tutorial of me swatching my three favorite top pinks in watercolor. So I will be listing that in the description and at the end if you want to go check that out. This Venetian pixie girl was inspired by my recent trip to Venice. Here in Italy there is a carnival every February and I was fortunate enough to go this February. and. Everyone was masked with beautiful sparkly masks and I was really lucky to get sunny weather because I've been to Venice when it was pouring and raining and let me tell you the streets were flooded and I had to wear rain boots and I mean I still had a great time. Venice is great all year around but when it is sunny it is absolutely beautiful and it's just, I really hope everyone gets a chance to go once in their lifetime. Okay, for the eyes, I just mixed uh, burnt umber with a little bit of Payne's Gray. Payne's Gray is not so dark as the black. Just a reminder, I'll be showing you how I added the glitter and my secret tip on how to add glitter and I'll be inking this mask in gold ink. So stick around till the end for that. Here I'm just going around once again with a little bit of shading. Here I'm using the Rose Matter for the hair. I actually mixed it in with a little bit of the Potter's Pink just to tone it down a bit. This is another pink watercolor favorite of mine. Then I take the Payne's Gray and I paint the striped shirt what, that was inspired by the gondoliers, uh, the people that drive the gondolas. Uh, they were all wearing this traditional top and I actually had a top at home that was black and white. So I thought it would be fun to take a picture under a gondola a bench. I'm adding the eyelashes with a very thin brush. This brush is one of my favorite uh, watercolor brushes. I'll be linking that in the description, but I can tell you it is a number four. And I'm just going through the mask, always with Payne Gray. I can make it darker or lighter just by adding more water to it. I'm going to be adding the details of the mask with this Windsor & Newton gold ink. It's a very pretty gold. It's very shimmery. And I was inspired by all the masks that I, I came upon throughout Venice. They all had a touch of gold or silver. But today I'm going to be using the gold. I do use my watercolor brush. I just make sure to wash it out really, really well because the ink does dry quickly and I wouldn't want to ruin my watercolor brush. Now for my secret weapon. This is a medium. 
It's called a matte heavy gel. And this is from a company called uh, May Mary Acrylico. I'll be linking that in the description. And then I take my glitter. Here I chose to use a black glitter. And I just add it on top of the gloss. A note about the gloss, uh, make sure to use the matte. That way when it does dry, the glitter will still be sparkly and shiny. Then when it is almost dry, I sort of move the glitter around to make sure it has covered all of the gloss. Then I take a soft dry brush and I just remove all the excess uh, glitter off my, my painting. I just take a, a toothpick or whatever I have on hand, add the gloss, add the glitter, shift it around, and then take it off with a soft brush. Here I'm just adding those last final watercolor details. Then I take a little bit of my titanium white watercolor and I add some final highlights to the eyes, nose, and cheeks. Did you enjoy this video and are new to this channel? Then please consider subscribing by hitting the button on the screen under this video or in the description. Grab another cup of tea or coffee and I'll see you in the next video.